rubberized faces stretch into familiar shapes driven by tiny motors and a distant version of artificial intelligence. Is this the future? Robotics presents both an exciting and worrying future for humans. By eliminating the human operator, robots can save labor, reduce risks, and cut costs. For instance, using a humanoid to handle something like dismantling an explosive device or something radioactive. However, as we advance deeper into the world of robotics and AI, we also seem to explore how creepy this field of science can be coincidentally. You must have seen sci-fi movies where an intelligent line of human-serving AI robots become too bright and take over the world, and the storyline is also one some people worry will come to real-world fruition, thanks to technological developments in artificial intelligence and robotics. However, applying intelligence to robots is all about furthering innovation for many others. As good as it might look in movies where your favorite superheroes take on creepy and evil robots, those who wish to destroy all humankind. Have you ever wondered what will happen if it all turns into reality? Do AI robots you appreciate today have alternative motives like destroying humankind? The human robots we will talk about in today's video tend to be some of the most gorgeous and intelligent women on the planet. They have an unrivaled charm since they are so realistic and genuine. Here's how they've set precedents and altered the world around us. Have you ever seen something so human-like that it left an unsettling feeling in your stomach? You know that it's not an actual human, but it acts and looks like one. Well, if you haven't, you are about to. A few years back, the University of Science and Technology of China created a humanoid robot that is so incredibly realistic that it walks on the thin line between creepiness and familiarity in the uncanny valley. This humanoid's name is Jia Jia, and she has a variety of noteworthy features. Jia Jia can interact directly with humans answering questions asked of her. She can give off micro expressions when responding to questions or actions. Hello? Glad to see you. Who are you? I am a robot named Jia Jia. What also makes this humanoid stand out so much more is that her eyes move freely around the room, and her lip movements are almost perfectly in sync with her speech. As Gia Gia is considered a priceless invention, there are no solid plans to mass produce her just yet. But maybe in the future, we might be able to connect with humanoid robots in our everyday lives more deeply. A social robot should be designed to have the ability to interact with humans and also with other robots. Social robots should be autonomous systems with local artificial intelligence, which allows them to interact independently in response to actions from things and people in their environment. One of these is Nadine. She is one of the most realistic female humanoid social robots around the world, and she looks and acts incredibly lifelike. Being modeled on Professor Nadia Magdanat Thalman, Nadine is a social humanoid who makes eye contact, greets you back, and remembers all of your conversations with her. Nadine is able to recognize people she has previously met and engage in a flowing conversation. She can answer questions in several languages and show emotions in her gestures as well as in her face, depending on the content of the interaction with humans. Nadine is also fitted with a personality, which means her mood can sour in a second, depending on what you say to her. Nadine can recognize anybody and she remembers facts and events related to each person. Nadine is basically the ideal companion when nobody is there. She can assist people with special needs such as reading stories, showing images, sending emails, putting on Skype sessions, and even communicating with the family. Nadine is part of the human assistive new technology which is badly needed as a society cannot afford a full-time social worker for a person with special needs. Nadine can play the role of a private coach always available when nobody is there. Erica is the most advanced tech humanoid to have come out of a collaborative effort between Kyoto and Osaka universities and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. Hiroshi Ishiguru is best known for creating Geminoid HI-1, an android in his likeness, right down to his trademark black leather jacket and a Beatles mop top made with his own hair. Erica, however, looks and sounds far more realistic than Ishiguru's silicone twin or his previous human-like robot, Geminoid F. Though Erica is unable to walk independently, she possesses improved speech and an ability to understand and respond to questions. Also, her every utterance accompanied by human-like changes in her facial expression. 
humanoids are also making their way into the hospital industry that has always prided itself on delivering a warm and personable touch. Shahira Kane is a service robot that can check you into your flight or book you a room. It has lifelike facial movements, which can make some people uncomfortable. At the same time, it is programmed to serve travelers at airports better. At an entrance to Berlin's exhibition hall where thousands of travel industry professionals gather for the ITV trade show, humanoid robot Shahira Kane greets guest visitors in multiple languages such as English, German, Chinese, and Japanese. Wearing a neck scarf and dressed in a blue jacket, Shahira is on her first visit to Europe, where she seeks potential employment for herself and her kind. Toshiba's creator also foresees a great future ahead for the robot in tourism. Sophia is a delicate-looking woman with brown eyes and long, fluttery eyelashes who made international headlines. Sophia is also a full citizen of Saudi Arabia, the first robot in the world to achieve such a status. Sophia has incredible dynamic facial expressions and community skills designed by Hanson Robotics. Expanding from Saya's previous single function as a teacher, Dr. David Hansen suggests robots like Sophia will be able to integrate into numerous job positions within human society. An astonishing and scary vision for the future is not helped by her admitting she will destroy humans. Wired Magazine also featured Sophia in 2018 in an article titled The Agony of Sophia, the world's first robot citizen. Condemned to a lifeless career in marketing, Sophia the robot was given the gift of legal personhood, her reward, an eternity working in marketing. Even though she has less capability, Sophia has a more colorful life than many other famous robots and AI systems, even more than Honda's Asimo and IBM's Watson from our observations. She participated in job interviews and helped headhunters to recruit candidates. Sophia was also recognized as an innovation champion by the United Nations. What makes Sophia so popular is perhaps her likability and relatability to people from all walks of life. Sophia is different as she is the first famous robot touching our intellect as well as our emotions. Sophia speaks intelligently, softly, affectionately and emphatically. This humanoid became very popular and gained many fans by impressing people in her conversations and interactions. Not only her behavior, but her well-crafted appearance and flexible muscles reflecting minute details and emotions also impressed people around her. However, as a female persona, she does not want people to touch her face inappropriately, and she does not enjoy handshake. More importantly, Sophia managed to have a date with Will Smith, and more interestingly, she even rejected Will. Although AI humanoids are clear winners in this creepy robot competition, these female humanoids are merely skimming the surface of the other possible robot terrors out there. Considering these, it appears that robots can be immediately creepy in many ways, but they also suggest an even more bizarre future. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. Which of these AI robots did you find the most realistic? Get involved and let us know in the comments section down below what you think about today's video. If you liked this video and found it informative, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you do not want to miss out on any new future videos like these, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. We hope you have a great day today and we'll see you in the next video.